Hello YouTube and welcome to another Proxmox tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to upgrade our Proxmox virtual environment from version 8 to version 9. So are you ready? Let's get started. Okay so as you can see here I log into my uh, Proxmox uh, virtual environment. So first thing first, let me check the version, but it's very visible here. You can see it's version 8.4.1. But we can also go to the shell and execute the command pve version, okay? And as you can see here, indeed, we are on version 8.4.1. And actually, that's one of the prerequisites for upgrading to version 9. You have to be at least on version 8.4.1 okay so first thing first we have to execute a couple of commands in order to update our pve environment so the first command is actually up gate update okay so let's update the repositories here okay and after that we're gonna execute upgate distribution upgrade okay so of course here at the end you want to continue so of course i will answer with capital y or just hit enter because it's the default option and of course here our distribution will be updated to the latest version but we are still on version 8 actually And I forget to tell you, before doing any of these, I mean, before upgrading version 9, you have, of course, to up to backup all your VM or LXC containers because no one knows what's going to happen. So it's better to have a copy or a backup of all your work, virtual containers and virtual machines, okay? Then you have to proceed with this procedure and of course you will find on the description of this video the official document documentation from Proxmox okay if you want to take uh, or have great details of the process Okay now, so as you can see the process has finished, but we need now to make a reboot of our machine to make sure we are on the latest version, but we are still on version 8. So let me reboot this machine actually and see what we get. So as you can see here, I lost the connection to my Proxmox server. So we will wait for the reboot to complete in order to log in once again okay so now as you can see we are back again but as you can see here we are not on version 8.4.1 as before but we are on version 8.4.14 as you can see here okay we can also check that on the shell using pve version as always so before it was 8.4.1, now we are on 8.4.14, okay? So after the reboot has finished, we have actually a script from Proxmox that actually will check the compatibility of your server with version 9. So it's better to execute the script to see if you will get some uh, actually uh, problems during the upgrade. So the simple name is pve829 this is the script that we have to execute to check if there will be any problem during the process of upgrade so let's execute the script and see what we get so here it's checking version information for pve packages 
okay here we have some warnings but I guess this is not very important so here the main thing to, to see is the failure so we have zero failure so which is good we have a couple of warnings but this is due to actually some uh, shared storage that are not available so it's better to execute the script to see if you will get any problems okay so for me it's actually I see it's good so we can proceed with the upgrade process okay so next we have actually to change the repositories for the source packages okay because as you may know the source packages if I execute the command for example nano etc apt sources that list apt with sources that list you can see here it's referencing the bookworm which is the actually the repository for version 8 for Debian 12 but here with the new version 9 we are using actually Debian 13 okay so we have to change this bookworm repository to the Trixie repository okay and in order to do that it's pretty simple we execute a sed command that will change that so this is the command so we'll change every occurrence of book more warm actually with Trixie okay and of course this will happen on the file source that list that I showed you so let me execute this command okay so this is the first one the second one actually it's not important but it's uh, important if you have a subscription but me I don't but I will execute it anyway okay by the way I can also remove the enterprise repository because I don't have subscription so I will use this command actually here we go and also I don't have Ceph so I can also remove it and this is the command okay and now we are good to go so let's update the repositories now And as you can see they are pointing to the Trixie now so we have actually 679 packages can be updated or upgraded actually okay so now we are good to go to upgrade to version 9 and of course the command is distribution upgrade here we go and of course you have to confirm that so actually this is the last command that we have to execute in order to get to the version 9 and after that we'll do of course and reboot our machine once again okay so we'll wait for the process to complete and see what we get at the end of it okay so we'll wait for the process to finish of course So we have here some uh, info or the news about the uh, open SSH. So I'll just hit Q in order to quit. And here asking you actually if you want to uh, keep the old file or make a new one so it's better to keep actually your current installed version in order not to get in trouble so for this question I will just answer here no
Okay, so here you can see we have the same question here. As I told you, it's always good to keep your current installed version, so I will hit enter for the default. So as you can see we are done, so the last command is of course to reboot the machine. So I will reboot my uh, PVE and see what we get at the end. And here we go, as you can see now we are on version 9.1.1. And of course we have all our VMs and containers, so let me just to go to the shell to check the version once again and indeed we are on 9.1.1 so as you can see it's a quite long process but if you follow the official documentation you will get your goal in no time okay so that was just a brief video to show you how you can upgrade your Proxmox PV environment from 8 to 9. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment or a like if you want. And of course if you have any question you can also leave them on the section below. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing. Bye bye!